last year, in 2019, Gareth wrote an amazing piece for Recorder Solo. It's called Diaries of the Early Worm. <laughs> When we started speaking about this piece, you asked for something that um, reacted to the idea of a musical earworm, a kind of catchy tune that we repeat again and again in our heads. So there are several times in the piece where uh, a short snippet of music happens again and again um, uh, with a slight variation each time. thought about uh, which music I was returning to a lot at this time. What were the earworms I was thinking about when I was writing the piece? Um, and one of these was a, a very beautiful troubadour song. Um, that's a, a medieval song from the 13th century, which I thought would work very well for the recorder. So um, at two or three points in the piece, this very ancient tune also uh, makes an appearance. I was thinking of it uh, as an earworm um, from early music. This was a particularly exciting piece because the recorder was quite unfamiliar to me. Um, it's not an instrument I'd ever written to, uh, for before. I was discovering lots of new uh, and really interesting sounds that the recorder can make. One of the things that Gareth was fascinated by were glissandos, so kind of slides up and down the instrument, which is very nice to do on the recorder because it's got these open finger holes. I really like that effect, especially in the lowest register of the instrument as well. One other thing that happens sometimes is that I don't play properly into the recorder, but I let some of my breath um, escape next to the instrument. There are also quite a few places where I use what's called sputato. I um, use a bit more breath and a slightly um, more forceful articulation like a t. It's been really fun working with Gareth on the Diaries of the Early Worm and hearing what he likes about the recorder. It's been a real privilege to collaborate on this piece together and I've learned so much about the instrument.